All right, folks, we're out here today in Kingwood once again, and we've got bees inside this big old oak tree. Now, the homeowner tells me the top of this tree snapped off in Hurricane Ike, and it was after that that he noticed honeybees flying out of the top of there were snapped off. And Hurricane Ike was 2005 or 2006, I'm really not sure. Anyway, a long time ago. Anyway, we're gonna get her laid down here. Um, they used to go in and out through that knot hole right there, he said. And you can tell by all the staining, there's actually still bees clustered up on the knot hole right now. So they're at least that far down. But you also see them going in and out up top where it's broke off. So, you know, no idea how big it's gonna be, but we're gonna try to get the sawing on it and just lay it down right across the yard here. And uh, we'll get her busted open and see just how big this colony is. But it's a nice, cool morning this morning, quiet, and uh, we'll get after it. This is fun. I just got my rope thrown over that nub. I'm gonna try to get it twisted around the tree so I've got a good hold on it, but I'm pulling on the rope like this, just real easy. You can see the whole tree moving. So this thing, I'm sure, is hollow all the way down. And, uh, you know, no telling how big of a nest is in there. But uh, when I threw my rope the first time, or the first time I finally got it over that nub, third throw, it hit right on that knot hole, the rock did. <laughs> so I'm like, great, that'll get them stirred up. But they've already calmed back now and they don't mind. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm just like, it's, it's funny that I can sit here and tug on this tree and make the whole thing rock back and forth. So I, I can't believe it's still standing, to be honest with you. But let's get her tied off and cut down. I got the uh, clients going around telling his neighbors right now, like I asked them to, that, you know, there might be some bees flying today. So we'll keep busy. <laughs> y'all get that I'm that strong so strong I just pulled the tree down all right so uh, yeah it did exactly what I expected it, uh, hit the ground and it shattered and uh, I can see some nasty combs in there and uh, the bees stirred up so they're letting them down for a while all right so I went ahead and threw my suit on just uh, because the bees aren't nearly as enthused about this as I was. Something about having your home fall to the ground and explode to pieces doesn't really make them all that happy, but here you go. Here's what was the top of the tree. And there's some honeycomb right there. Right there. And uh, bees crawling all over, so from what I can see, looking in this split here, there's some brood in there. And uh, bees all clustered up on that chunk. Can't really see if there's more combs going further into the log, but let's assume there are. But anyway, I'm gonna get my saw going here and get this log busted up to the point that I can tear it all apart and at least think I'm seeing all the combs. So I better get busy because once you drop a tree like this, it's very important that you get it worked up very quickly because you don't know where the queen's at and there's a lot of chaos going on. And these bees are very flighty this morning. They're flying all over the streets. So I've actually park my truck broadside across the street to try to keep it from coming down here they can go out and around and I've got my first client right now so you better back it up and uh, 
Better back it up and go on somewhere else. So I better get to work. All right, they've settled down a little bit and uh, I've got the log split open here. So I'll take a good picture of this. That could be my cover picture. Anyway, got bees clustered up on this little scrap of comb section over here. Some bees in there. Little tight cluster of bees right there. Bees all over that chunk. Bees all over that chunk. Uh, so scattered about quite a bit. Bunch of honey down inside of here. And uh, some sporadic brood. So unfortunately when I dropped the tree, the combs did pancake. So I'm praying I didn't smash that queen, but I'm gonna hurry up and start picking up scraps of comb, try to get things cleaned up and figure out. Let me just give you all a little update where we're at. Um, still have not spotted the queen. I've cut out and cleaned up pretty much all the comb. Maybe little, you know, bits and chunks in there, but for the most part, it's all cleaned up. Uh, I've got a bucket full of scrap honeycomb and empty comb and some more little scraps of brood comb and honeycomb, but a bunch of bees clustered up over there and uh, you know, a little cluster here. Kind of run towards a box. They act like they're really liking the box, but they're really not covering the combs a whole lot. Now, I haven't caught the queen yet. And the homeowner comes out and he observes something very interesting to me. Is that, uh, I think we're going to catch a swarm today too. Now, I can't get the camera to focus. Now, well, there it is. Yeah, there you go. Right here, we've got a huge ball of bees. That's like a four pound swarm on that limb. Now, I don't think it's a true swarm. I think it's all, you know, the bees from this hive, obviously, that have flown up there. I just don't know if the queen's up there or if that is uh, foragers that flew out and then came back and found their tree, not here, and so they landed on the closest thing, which is a high limb. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to keep working up what I've got down here on the ground, get all these combs cut and uh, put in frames and get this cleaned up, and then I'll see about shaking that swarm down and uh, try to find our queen. What's funny is I was working earlier, and... Uh... I was standing over here working, cutting out of those big blocks, and I've moved over on the street now, but I looked over, and on this chunk of wood here, I saw a real crazy activity. They were, they were being real calm, and then just all of a sudden they started running down the tip of that point, and they all was like, oh, they're running, you know, they're running towards the box, but then they stopped and turned around and came back, and so I'm wondering if maybe the queen was there, and that she did fly, and she flew up on that limb, and that's when they all started running and got crazy. They've calmed back down now, but, uh, you know, I'm just not sure, so... Little things like that is what we're looking for, you know, we try to keep an eye out for, especially watch the bees, watch the activity, you know, let them tell you where they're going and what they're doing, and that's really kind of the trick to how we find the queen on most of these folks, is just look, watch the bees, let them tell you where she's at. So sometimes I do some really stupid stuff, and this is a great example of one of those. I was telling y'all how I had that swarm, or not really swarm, but the foragers all up there on that limb. So I got all the combs caught on the log and uh, hadn't found the queen, so I figured I'd shake the bees off the limb. And it took me about 10 or 15 shots with the rock and rope there. and Finally got it to lay over the limb, and of course when it did, the tip of the limb where the swarm was hanging just snapped off. So I didn't even get a chance to gather up and, uh, you know, get a shake. It just all happened at once, and me being naive like I am thought, oh, they're a swarm because they're clustered up on a limb. No, no, they're not. So I knock a bunch of bees down to the ground and I run up and start looking at them to see if I see the queen go running and I got tore up. So I got stung, I don't know, on my arm twice, on my shoulder, forehead, back of the head, and best of all, one in my nose. And those are the absolute worst. Anything on the nose or lip, whew, boy, that gets you sweating and it gets your sinuses running and it just makes you feel like a darn fool. So anyway, where it stands now is uh, a lot of bees on the box over there clustering up really well but I still haven't found the queen decent amount of bees here that I just shook off the limb and uh, more bees clustering up on the limb again so I guess I start throwing my rock again and try to shake them down again they're going to that limb for a reason hopefully the queen's not up there but they sure do like that limb so anyway keep working well I got a pretty good march going on here and figured I could share it with you guys when I got back over here to the job, this block of wood was sitting next to the bucket with chunks of honey in it. And uh, there's a lot of robbing going on on the bucket, but a lot of bees on this block. And the only thing I can really figure is, one, because it was next to that bucket, but two, because I, ha I left my jar of lemongrass oil sitting on top of the stump. And uh, they were all around that crawling on the jar. So anyway, I set this trap box over here on top of it. 
and uh, just watching the bees now I'm trying to smoke them off the block of wood and they're really running to this box really well and again that doesn't guarantee the queens in the box it might be they're just running to the box because it smells like lemongrass and it smells like bees um, but anyway I'm just sitting here watching them trying to see if I get lucky if the queen was on here if she goes running maybe I'll catch her but uh, haven't seen her yet the weather sucks had a little rainstorm blow in start raining on me despite the sun shining it was pouring down rain uh, but the good news is they're not up on the tree branch anymore, so all that effort that I went to trying to shake them off the limb, maybe I shook a queen off of it, but I think it was just a bunch of lost foragers that eventually figured out that that wasn't where their hive was. Um, probably the ones that are all over this stump now for all I know. But anyway, I spent a lot of time throwing a rock at a limb for no reason and then actually went home to get a different rock and uh, some lighter string so I could throw easier and come back to find that I don't need it, so go figure there. Anyway, we're still uh, still sitting here watching and waiting. Got a lot of robbers over there on those chunks of honeycomb on the log, and then there's a couple of pieces of brood. That's honeycomb over there, a couple of pieces of brood here. But they're accepting that box pretty good. That's what's got the cut brood comb in it in the frames. And so again, we're just sitting here trying to smoke them out of this chunk of wood and see if we get lucky to clean that in here. Got bales, got bees getting all inside my veil just because, because they like to, I guess which drives you crazy as a beekeeper to have them inside your veil. You just soon take the veil off, but I don't know. I don't like getting stung. I got stung on my nose earlier, and it hurts. So anyway, I'm just sticking out. Figured I'd give you a little update. Well, we finally caught that pesky queen, folks, and she actually was over there on that stump. I was telling you about when I showed up, or at least that's where I found her. I put, her, I put that box on top and, um, you know, set it up so they could start crawling in that box for refuge. I was... Whew, I was smoking the stump looking for her, but I never did see her. And finally, I, I went through and I shook each frame into my other box for a clean excluder, and then I uh, went back and started over again. And that time I found her on the second shot. But um, man, these bees are weird. They're really, really crawly. I'll tell you what, this will give you a test of nerves. These things are crawling all over me. They're not stinging me, they're not attacking me. They're just <sighs> crawling all over me. And it's really giving me the heebie jeebies. But uh, I don't really know how to explain it. I don't know if it's because they're all fattened up with honey because they're robbing every bit of honey they can find around here. Maybe that's what it is, but man, they're just nuts. It's just kind of weird. But anyway, got our queen. She's not real huge, but she's a good looking girl. So we're going to put her in the box and get things cleaned up. Look at this, folks. I wasn't kidding. I don't know what it is, why they're all over my hat and they like me that much, but they're all over my back too, crawling down inside my shirt. So it's kind of weird. I've never had them be this friendly when it's this hot out. When it's cold, it makes sense, but when it's this hot, doesn't make sense but anyway I'm gonna go over here and uh, saw the stump down a little bit lower for this gentleman so that when the gets a stump grinder on it, it'll help saw it out and uh, then we'll get the box set up on the stump and just try to clean up the mess and head home 